Thanks for staying with us here on Tahoe Tonight with me now. Yeah, it's been a busy studio this evening. It's time for Scott Peters, CPA from Munn CPAs. How are you tonight? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. You too. Yeah, you've been getting up on the mountain. I have, yeah, it's good. been nice. It's been nice. Yep. Yeah, I think that storm door is finally, yep, finally opened up and mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing some good snow up on the mountain. I'm excited. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, well, and it's nice to be able to balance career and being able to play the way we do up here in Tahoe. Absolutely. Do that yeah. well there and it's tax season it is well it's coming up yeah. so it's yeah I'm trying to get in some good ski days before that starts <laughs> exactly. it is nose to the grind yeah. how long does that last for you where it's like oh man it's ramping up and then to April 15th it starts to pick up in February okay. people start getting all their tax documents and you start getting stuff together then people start coming in for their appointments or sitting in their tax data so usually f uh, February hits and it's all the way straight through to April 15th okay so we're a few short days away from February Mm -hmm. How can people start preparing what they need to bring to you in order for to be prepared for tax season? Yeah, so I mean, you're a, you have two things to think of. If you're a business owner, you have your 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 accounting, right? Your mm -hmm. your books essentially. You got to get that updated, and then um, you know get everything reconciled. Go through the books, make sure everything's um, categorized correctly. Work with your bookkeeper uh, if you have someone else. If you're doing your own books, making sure you're going through those, making sure everything looks good and clean, so your CPA can get the information and prep it efficiently, right? Yep, so yep, the yep. more you more work they put in up front, the less time it takes for CPAs to prepare the return. Okay. And does that speak like incorporation? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Talk so small business, yeah. sole proprietor. So if you're a sole proprietor, that means you have a Schedule C, which mm -hmm. is reported on your 1040 return. But the same concept goes in with that. You still have your books, you have your records, you have profit and loss statement that you got to give to your CPA. Uh, if you're a corporation, you have a little bit more work to do as far as um, categorizing things and, and getting your information together and completed for the, the calendar year. So you don't want my receipts coming in in a nope. big box? No. <laughs> uh, maybe some <laughs> CPA still do that, but uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be efficient for the client. Yeah, no. You, you, you got to put in the work. <laughs> Go and find my receipts yeah. from under the couch <laughs> and in the drawer. Yeah, I mean, and some people do it, but you're going to pay a little more because it's going to take us longer to do it. Well, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and me longer to find them all. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, and you have the new tax laws. There are new tax laws on the. On yes, the so late last year, everybody knows the tax law went into effect. Um, it's going to start for 2018, so it's really planning for going to the future. So looking at uh, you know, 2018 and going forward is what you really need to be thinking about okay. if this is going to affect you. So, um, obviously, there's a lot of changes, um, business side and personal side. So, if you have, you know, people have questions or concerns, they should get with their, you know, their CPA or when they come in for their tax appointment this year they can ask a few questions and be ready for that how how is this going to affect me for 18 are there any things i can is there anything i can do to prepare for the new law that's been um implemented for 2018 and beyond okay so how will they know what questions to ask of that you know with the with the new law how, how do you know i mean i would just um know. you know i would probably just read some articles you okay. know google it what are the new changes and yeah. and go through the bullet points uh -huh. there's lots of articles out there people can come to our website and look at the cool. information we have um, some printout handouts from the change from for the law changes in our office so if people wanted to come by and we could you know print them out of paper Okay. copy if, yeah. they want it, if they're more comfortable doing that. Centrally located stuff. Hey Scott, yeah. thanks for stopping by tonight. You're Good welcome. To see you. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back.